Hello everyone and welcome back to The Man's Kitchen. It's me, your host, James the Food Man. And today I have, the camera work might be a little bit different. Camera wife Heather is not with us today, but I have camera sister Jessica here. She's giving me a good dirty smile from behind the camera saying, why are you telling people I'm here? She's not enjoying this at all, but whatever. That's what family does for each other. Now, today we're gonna make a charcuterie board and charcuterie is hipster beatnik talk for meat tray. That's really all it is. But you can get products like this. Let's say charcuterie trio, and this has a nice classic spread of three different meats. We're gonna use this along with this and half of this package, because I already, the salami monster got in here. I ate it all. Now we're also gonna use some nan bread. And then I got some vegetables to go along with this. We got some pickled vegetables here. And if you wanna pickle your own vegetables, all you need to do is put them in a bowl overnight with some rice wine vinegar and some sugar. We got some artichokes, because I love me some artichokes. I don't know who actually likes olives. I think they're disgusting, but I know some of you ugly bastards like these. So I got some olives. And we got king of asparagus here, the white asparagus. And in case you're wondering how they make white asparagus, they grow it in the dark. Without any light, no uh, photosynthesis can happen, and the asparagus doesn't turn green. This is already also peeled, so it's ready to go. Now, before we get going with today's video, now that I've kind of done a rundown of what we're doing, I want to remind everybody that if you like this channel, hit the subscribe button down below. If you like this video, hit the like button. Ding the bell icon so that way YouTube sends you notifications when I post new videos. And you can always follow us on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook so you can get behind the scenes news and updates when I post future videos. Now, with almost all that housekeeping out of the way, one last thing. Go down to the comments section. Pull out your keyboard, type something. Tell me what you like to do with your meat trays. What kind of meats do you like to put on them? Do you like to use like ham and turkey and like sandwich meats? Do you take some fancy beef tenderloin, shave it, put some horseradish in there, pickle and roll it all up like a roulade? Let me know what you like to do. Now let's get started with today's video. And the first thing we need to do is we need to get our asparagus grilled. So behind me on the stove, I have a indoor cast iron grill pan. And I'm going to take out our asparagus. Whoa. Okay, these are a little on the mushier side. It's not expecting that, but that's okay. So we're gonna take these out. We're gonna go to the, I'll be back in a second because I'm just gonna pour the water out in the sink. I'll be back in one second. All right, so we have our white asparagus laid out on this plate and we're gonna add some olive oil. And a little pinch of kosher salt. And we're gonna give these a little bit of a roll here around. You can use fresh asparagus, you can use green asparagus, you don't have to use white. I just thought white would be nice for today. Nice contrast. And we're gonna take this over to the grill pan and we're gonna pop them on. All right, so we're just gonna place these on here. We've got that nice hard sizzle. We're only gonna let these go for about a minute or two per side. We're gonna roll them around once and I'll get back to you. We'll show you the end result in a few minutes. Okay, we have our asparagus off the grill. It took about five minutes and I have some grill marks on them. Now these were a little mushy out of the can, or out of the jar. So you might wanna buy more than one jar if you're not familiar with a specific brand. Some are more firm, some are more mushy. Um, we're gonna set this off the side while it cools off and then we're gonna wrap it with one of the salamis. The other thing we're gonna put on our board is the artichokes. So I'm just gonna half open this a bit. I'm gonna run it over to the sink, pour out the water, and I'll be back in a second. Now that I've got the water out of here, I'm gonna pour this out on our cutting board. I like to quarter my canned asparagus. You can get asparagus uh, already marinated in at the grocery store I shop at. That stuff comes in glass jars, and it's right beside this. Um, it's about the same price for half the amount. So I'd rather just get a can like this, 
quarter of them myself. And then we're just going to drop them in this bowl. We're going to go back to our kosher salt. Give a nice hefty pinch. Now off camera, camera sister Jessica asked, why do you use kosher salt? Why do recipes call for it? And I said, have you ever tasted kosher salt? So we both put our finger in the box and licked our fingers. We went to the sink after and washed our hands. We're not animals. And she goes, I get it. It's, so this was oregano while we're just chatting here. And we're just gonna give this a little toss. Woo, a little bit on me. And one on the floor for the dog. So maybe a little more oregano. I love oregano. But you might want to use parsley or maybe a pre-mixed seasoning blend. And we're going to put that right in here. We're going to clean up this board and we're going to start assembling stuff on here. And that'll be the next step. Okay, we're going to do the rest of our canned items first before we get into the meat. Now, this is not going to be hard for me to open. I already was playing with it. But if you can, if you don't have the strength to open this, you don't have a can opener, take the back of your knife. Don't use the blade. You're going to wreck your knife. Take the back of the knife. Put this in your left hand and hit it this way and you're going to pop the top right off. Okay, so we're going to grab a spoon, we'll grab some of these olives. Okay, get some of the olive juice in there for you filthy olive lovers. I don't like olives, but I imagine some of you like that juice. So yeah, we'll put some olives here. That's plenty of olives. We've got our pickled vegetables. There we go. Got our pickled vegetables. We got our artichokes. And now we're going to move on to the actual meat part of this tray. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take our white asparagus. And traditionally you wrap this in prosciutto, but I'm going to use the calabrese and I'm going to do that for one reason is the contrast of colors. See, this has a nice dark, rich, lush red. And the prosciutto, we're gonna open this up. The prosciutto's got more of this, like almost like a leathery kind of brown and then it fades to, because it's got a fat cap on it that's delicious too, you wanna eat that fat. So it fades to that white and I'm thinking that the white on white, even with that contrast, isn't gonna be enough. So. I think that this Calabrese is really going to add some nice, some nice color. And this is a, this is a hot salami. So this is going to add a nice, um, nice heat to these. So we're going to put it in on an angle like that. And then we're going to roll that way we get maximum coverage. And I'm not going to waste your time by filming, rolling all of these. I'm going to roll these up and then we're going to skip ahead to, uh, to how we place everything else on the board. All right, so we have our asparagus spears wrapped in our salami there. We have a little salami left over. So we're just going to do like, uh, like a little roll or whatever. And that's what we're going to do on the corner here. And we're just going to place the rest of our salamis here. And I tell you what I'm going to do is I'm going to time lapse this for you. So you can watch me do this in like five seconds. Okay, so that was so fast for me to put that on, right? In case you're wondering why I was so rough and sloppy with the prosciutto, they don't put wax paper between them in those types of packs, so it just wasn't separating. And we're just going to put the bread in the center here. Now, on the side of this, you should probably leave out a little bottle of olive oil, so that way your guests can pick up some of this, put some salami on it, do a little drizzle of olive oil, stick it on their plate. Um, I would, I would heat the bread up if it wasn't for the fact that I'm making this two hours ahead of when we're having our party today. So it's just going to get cold anyways, but just try and find some spots on your tray or your board where it looks like you need a little bit more coverage. Maybe like here, from my point of view, I got a little Martian head cause it's green and some antenna. So, you know, whatever, have fun with it. And I realized that I didn't finish telling you about the salt. Five minutes ago when we were talking about why camera sister Jessica asked about the kosher salt. So we tasted it and she goes, I get it. It's a little coarser. You can put it in your food when you're cooking and then you finish with the table salt. 
Um, it's just better to cook with uh, overall because you get more control when you pinch it than when you sprinkle a salt shaker. So anyways, I digress. Back to this. This is the our charcuterie board. We've got some bread in here. We've got some salamis. We've got some pickled vegetables. And this is what we're going to put out as kind of the showstopper tray today. Uh, I have a bunch of other trays made up for a party we're having. This is going to be the woo tray. And if you put this with the vegetable tray from last week and the cheese tray from the week before that, you are going to have a buffet spread that your friends will talk about for weeks. All right, everybody. Thanks for coming back to the man's kitchen today. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. I hope you learned something. I hope you had some fun. And next week, we'll do something different. We're going to get away from trays uh, for a bit. I got an idea for something next week. It's kind of a little bit of an original uh, creation here. And I'll uh, show it off to you then. Until then, though, you have yourself a great week.